Well, it's straight. It's also winter and it's freezing, but I am here to announce, well, some big news. Another big news video for you. Been, well, at least a year, if not more, since I even thought about one of these events. But this year, 2023, whole new start, whole new start the channel. We're bringing stuff back that you really liked. We're bringing back the big Oggy Charity Golf Day. So one of the big successes I feel about Big Oggy Golf over the years has been its community, has been its inclusiveness, and has also, sorry about this, watch falling off, has also been the Big Oggy Charity Golf Day. Now last year we took a break because quite frankly I was kind of burned out and I wanted to do companies etc a rest from us trying to scrounge stuff off them let's be honest for prizes and things. So this year the big Oggy Charity Golf Day is back with a new location. Bit windy today we are just off the a30 we are just into cornwall we are at trethorne hotel and golf club let's play some more shots this happens to be the fourth hole at trethorne by the way it's a beautiful hole any time of the year We've picked a thorn because I just wanted a different dynamic to the previous events. We played at Land Hydro for the first couple of events, had a great time there, people were lovely, but I just feel that, well, Big Eye Golf is kind of Cornwall, Devon, and the Southwest, so we need to move around a bit with our charity days and our other events that we'll be planning. So, I've been spending a little bit of time trying to find the place I wanted. As you may know, if you watch our other channel, Big Oggy World, if you don't, please go and subscribe. It's a food and travel channel. My wife, Kelly and I, we came to Trethorn and we found a fantastic video. It's about an hour long, it tells you all about the things that happen at Trethorn for people who don't just play golf. They are connected, but not part of, the Trethorn Leisure Park. Uh, so they've got animals, They've got dodgems, they've got temping bowling, restaurants, cafes, loads of things for all the kids, for all different ages. Um, just really worth coming down to actually enjoy and see that. So we wanted a place that had things for golfers and for the non-golfers. To afford and tick that box. Let's hit the ball, hopefully. Some of the other green, I'm not sure distances with these clubs yet. Avoid the water, staying on the green, just on the left hand edge. That'll be okay, that's okay. So, like I said, that ticked one of the boxes. The other one is that it had to have really good quality accommodation for people who travel from all over the country. Trafford and tick that box, you'll see that in the video. Please go and watch. We know the food's good because we tested that. We know the people are good because we've met them and obviously a couple of people who've played on this channel quite regularly, Steve Treby and his son Alfie, are actually members here. So again, we've got a bit of an insider knowledge. Let's get down to the green. Oh, putting's still there. Just got to get the rest of the game together, I guess. We'll take a five. So, we also wanted a course that was fun for everybody. As you know, Big Eye Golf is inclusive, so we have, you know, older people that aren't quite as mobile. We have juniors that don't hit, maybe hit the ball quite so long. We've had scratch golfers, we've had high handicappers. 
men, women, children. So we wanted a course that was kind of fun for everybody. So it's not the longest of courses, but it's quite tricky in places. Lots of water, which you'll see in a minute, or some examples of what you'll see in a minute. Lots of slopes, lots of undulations, quite tight greens in places. Good course, fun course. So the, you know, the really good golfer is going to have to be as accurate as they normally are, but it's not exceptionally long, so it doesn't kind of put off the everyday players that kind of, you know, hit their best. So let's go and find another hole. We'll discuss a bit more. Now, like a number of courses in Cornwall, or certainly the southwest, it's a very undulating course. Uh, got quite a few hills and slopes, as we said. So also want to make sure that the course we use for the golf day have plenty of buggies, because obviously quite a few people aren't as able as they used to be. So, Tresorin's got 22, I think, so I kind of ticked our boxes too. We're on a six, par five, goes straight out, kind of goes round. Well, that's got a bit straight, John. Don't normally fade a ball. That'll be okay. We'll go and find that. I hope. I didn't really want to demonstrate the fact it's an undulating course, but I'm showing you parts of the course that some of you may end up in on the golf day. Let's get down near the fairway. Better. Now we're in play. Now we can talk. Okay, about 135. Go with a seven. Well, I don't normally get height, but I do now. I think it's just going to be short of the green. Very happy with that. So we're in dinky nine or big putt territory. Let's go big putt. Like big putt. Um, so the difference this year is again is we're going to go shotgun start. Land Hydro, when we played there on the golf day, has always wanted a two tee start because they said their restaurant couldn't accommodate everyone in one go. We fixed that. We fixed that with Trethorn. We're going to go Carvery with a shotgun start, so everyone can kind of get together really quickly. Okay, let's finish this. And we'll go through the full details. Of what's going to be happening on the day? Could be better, but that's okay. Okay, still a long way, John. Get close and I'll probably be happy, to be honest. Hmm. Close, but boy, don't they roll. Oh. Right now. Winter golf, ropey swing, ropey body. It's not all going to go to plan. Let's go and find one more hole and we'll give you all the details. So I did say Trethorn is quite tricky at times, certainly for me, and that's because there's quite a lot of water at Trethorn. Eight and nine, definitely water. There's other parts as well. Um, this is eight, straight down, par three. Quite a narrow green that way, quite a long green that way. Um, with a bank at the back, lots of water in front. Um, this will be our nearest the pin, or one of the nearest the pins. We'll have various games on the course. We're still working all those out because obviously it's quite a new course for us to try and work out some different games for you. But as we fit it's big hockey golf, it won't always be the same stuff you expect. Um, there will be a forfeit on this one if obviously you land in the water. We'll, you know, we've got to raise money for charity. We haven't decided what the charity is yet. I've discussed some details with a couple of charities. We're just waiting for one of them to come back. Whoever comes back first gets it.
Why? Why? Might not be nearest the pin, but at least I've got a pair of forfeit today. I was going to pop a tenner in the charity box because I'd buy a hit of water, but oh, we'll stick there anyway. So let's go and finish this hole. We'll sit down up on the back and I'll go through the full details of what you need. Uh, this is just a introduction video about it because we haven't announced the date of the ticket sales yet. We'll just give you some more details. Well, like I said, not going to win nearest the pin, but hey, I'm just glad I got over the wall, so. That's not a bad hit, John. Right. Let's try and finish off. Let's try and finish off. Four feet, left to right with a slope. I'll take a par. Let's go sit down and I'll give you all the details I know so far because it's about to rain. Okay, so what details do you need right now? Well, the most important one, I guess, is going to be the date. The date is the same as it always is. It's the Tuesday after the bank holiday Monday at the end of August. So according to my calendar, that's the 29th. So kind of pencil that date in for now. Price will be £55 per person. That'll include a little bit of money for the charity and um, a little bit of leeway for us so we can hopefully get some prizes because we don't know what contacts we've got anymore because obviously it's been 18 months since we did the last golf day. But I'm sure we'll find some lovely things for you. So at the moment, the itinerary is uh, 12 noon tee off. So it's a nice relaxed start of the day. Everyone will be coming in and round about between 10, 10, 30 for registration. Tea, coffee and cake, because it's not like first thing in the morning, a bit relaxed. You'll all get goodie bags. I'm working on goodie bags. Big Ollie Golf always has goodie bags. Uh, in that, there'll also be sandwiches and there'll be food, etc. for on the course. If it's really hot weather, we're making sure there's drink stations around the course. So I thought that might be a nice idea this year. Then you all come back for a carvery and we will try and find some fun in games. Now, High Dog had a 19th hole. This doesn't, of most courses don't, but we'll find some little fun in games that we can do to raise a bit of money for whatever charity we're going to do after, after you've had your meal. So everyone's kind of in the same area. There'll be a big raffle as always. There'll be mulligan cards. I think we kind of invented the mulligan card. A lot of, lot of different uh, charity days are using the mulligan card idea now, which is fantastic. But, you know, we'll bring ours back as well. Be some other ideas too. I'm still working on those in the fullness of time. Give me a chance for my strange brain to put it all together. There's accommodation here, a lovely hotel and accommodation. So once you've got your ticket sorted, you know, sort out your accommodation, there's a lots of buggies. Buggies are 25 pound each. You'll have to contact the course for them because we won't be doing them with that ourselves. Um, I think that's about it. It's going to be better ball pairs, but if you haven't got someone as a pair, it doesn't matter. We're going to put you up together with someone. That's the whole point of Big Eye Golf. You never know who you're going to play with. You could be playing with some you know, really you know, well-known people. We could be playing with some just absolutely totally unknown people. And that's, that's the point about this whole day, really. So it's a big community spirit kind of thing. Raising awareness for a charity, maybe even two. Raising a bit of money for, for the charities, um, but just giving you all a fun day. And obviously it'll probably go long into the night as it normally does at these events. So I think that's all you probably need to know right now. I can't give you the date of when we're gonna actually launch the tickets. Um, it'll be very soon, but basically the reason is uh, last time we used our actual website properly was for the last golf day really. And it just needs a bit of a tweak to make sure we can sell the tickets properly and fairly. Um, but as soon as we do that, I will announce it on a video and across social media, give you a few days notice but it'll be very soon, okay? Um, we'll have to money in full this time. We can't go around with paying half and half like we did last time, but that's just one of those things. We have to pay uh, the course kind of in advance pretty much this time. But that'll be, that's all it is to worry about. That's nothing to do with you. That's what we've got to sort out. But we have to be paying your money in full. So it's 55 pounds each, gonna be a good day. Nice relaxing start. You meet my wife, Kelly, and all her helpers, etc. when you register get your raffle tickets, get all your, your uh, mulligan cards, all those kind of things. We'll give you all details, a bit of a meet and greet to start off with, get you all out on the course, enjoy your game, enjoy your day, come back for some nice food, we'll have a few fun and games, and we'll announce the winners, etc. It's gonna be good, yeah? 
it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And um, I feel the channel's kind of refreshed and starting to move forward this year. And it's got to have a big eye golf day to do that. See you all soon, everybody. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do all those things. Come and join me on Big Augie Golf, my wife and I on Big Augie World. And if you're going to take part, I will welcome you very soon in August. I'll give you the date very soon. Bye, everybody. Okay, I had to have one last hit. Over the water on the ninth.